in a long time, even though I think it's only been about a week or so. I really wanted to update you guys a little bit about what's going on in my life. I recently turned 18, so woohoo, I'm 18 now. And I also met a subscriber, which was really cool. Her name was Bria, and hi Bria if you're watching. I actually freaked out a lot after we met because I just thought it was so crazy that someone actually um, watched my videos. But anyway, so, oh, and I'm also a little sick, so my voice sounds a little congested. Sorry about that. So today I'll be showing you guys my shoe collection, and for some reason this video has been quite requested from the start and I kind of understand why because these videos are some of my favorites to watch and they're not in any specific order this time around I just kind of filmed my shoes in any which way that I wanted to these aren't all my shoes that I have because some of the shoes that I wore be way back when were hideous and I'm actually kind of embarrassed to say that I used to wear those kind of shoes um, so I won't be showing you guys that today and just a quick little disclaimer I know a lot of people ask about this but I did buy these shoes with my own money I work three jobs and I've been working since I was 15 so just to get that out there and yeah so I hope you guys enjoy and let's get on to the shoes now so again, these aren't in any specific order, but first off, we have the Steve Madden Westie and Leopard. They're just a really nice pony hair platform that I recently picked up a week ago, so I haven't worn them yet. But I'm really excited to sport these for the spring and in the summer. So if you guys didn't know, this is actually one of my all-time favorite shoes, and it's a Steve Madden Greta. It's just a nice black suede platform with gold buckling on the side. And I actually wore these for my senior homecoming for around 13 hours, and they're so comfortable. I didn't have any foot aches or blisters the next day while all my other friends did. So these are her cult favorite, and they're the Jeffrey Campbell Lita. I actually got these in taupe suede rather than calf black leather because I thought I would wear these more often with shorts, and I thought the neutral skin tone color of the shoe would actually lengthen my legs. <laughs> These were actually my first pair of expensive or brand name, I guess, heels that I ever got and I got these for Christmas when I was 15. They're from the Vintage America collection by Nine West and they're just a really nice clog booty. These are just a really classic black leather boot with a wooden heel and they're from H&M. I actually wore these on my first day of school during my senior year and they're really comfortable and these are what I call my school shoes shoes that I don't wear anywhere else but school so here are the Steve Madden Serena and they're just a really classic black suede pump that I think any girl needs in her closet I like that they have a really chunky heel it makes it more modernized I guess however I will say one thing they are one of the most uncomfortable shoes that I own here are my Kelsey Dagger wedge booties that are in black suede again and for a moment in my life I was actually obsessed with these shoes but uh, they don't actually get too much wear right now so here's another pair of my school shoes and they're just these nice mustard flats they're actually really dirty because someone at school accidentally spilled milk on them and I never bothered to clean them up and here are the same exact pair but in black and they look a lot cleaner um, I like these because they're really comfortable, but I have no idea what brand they are. I just got them from the mall. Here are another pair of shoes that I wear both to school and in public, and they're the Forever 21 Leopard Buckled Shoes that I actually got in a size way too big, but they were the last pair and I really wanted them. I really like them because they add edge to any kind of outfit. I bought these for myself this Christmas, and they're the Steve Madden Pembroke. I actually really like these because I wanted to wear them to Coachella this year and they remind me a lot of the Isabel Marant Dicker boots. Yeah, another pair of one of my school shoes and these are from Forever 21. I like these because they look vintage but they're not. I could wear these almost every day too because they're so freaking comfy. Jessica Simpson actually makes decent shoes. What? She does? <laughs> so okay these are my Jessica Simpson Danny platforms and they have a nice t-strap these are actually my first pair of platform heels that kind of actually started the collection that I have today 
These are some just random boots that I found at the mall for um, $15 and they're just these olive lace-up boots that I actually plan to wear to school because they're so comfy. Another pair of school shoes and these are tan brogues that I actually got from eBay a couple years back and they're really comfortable and stylish I would say. I think these are my last pair of school shoes and these are my DIY Converse that I actually have a tutorial up on right now. I'll link you guys down below and I really like Converse. These are the Jeffrey Campbell Take 2 shoes in grey suede and as you'll see on the back of my right heel I believe, these shoes have zippers that won't zip and they're super inconvenient and I think the zippers are actually really poorly made. So these are actually a pair of shoes that I got gifted while filming on set for the Olsen Boy video I did with Style Haul and they're just these nice nude pumps with diamond detailing on the back. I don't think I would ever wear these but maybe my friend wants to borrow them for prom or something. Here are my BCBG Max Azria boots that have a lot of buckling and detail on them. I was actually obsessed with these at one point in time in my life because I thought they were so badass but now I don't get much wear out of them either. Here are a pair of my old school shoes that I used to wear a lot at school, but don't really wear them anymore. Don't know why. Um, they're just these Nine West brogues. So here are my first pair of riding boots, and they're by Diesel. They kind of remind me of Taylor Swift and country music, which is probably why I'm dancing like that in the video. But they're really comfortable, and I have actually a really hard time trying to style these. Here are a pair of shoes that I got at Marshalls way back when in the summer and I think they're by the brand Wanted and they're just these tan clogs that are really comfortable and I usually wear these with a pair of socks. She was wearing all those. <laughs> so these are my Aldo cream platform clogs that I got back at the end of the summer last year and they were on sale for $40 so they are pretty much a steal. So here's another pair of Nine West shoes that I got when I first started to buy a lot of heels um, when I was around like 15 or 16 and they're these Nine West Gladiators. Here are another pair of gifted shoes that I got from my aunt and they're these Olive INC heels and they're just really strappy and I think they're actually too small for me but I don't wear them anymore so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I like to call these my hooker heels because I bought these when I was 15 and these are officially my first pair of heels that I ever wore and what a choice I made because they're super strappy, super hookery and I don't know what I was thinking. Here are a pair of cream fringe sandals that I actually got at Sandy Alley and I really like them because they look like they could be sold at Urban Outfitters but for half the price as they're like only $20, I actually wore these at 50 this year which is um, Fuck Yeah Fest. So I used to be really obsessed with gladiators and these were the pair that I always rocked at school and they're just these black gladiators that I got from the mall way back when. So these I have practically lived in for the past three years of my high school career and these are the Baker combat boots that I got a long time ago way back when and as you can see they are pretty beaten up as the threading is all coming out but I love them so much and they're so comfortable. Woohoo! So we're finally at the end and these are the Doc Martin 1460s in cherry red smooth. And I actually have an entire review and lookbook on these, so I'll link them down below if you guys are interested in watching. And did anyone catch how many times I said actually in this video? So I always link you guys to my blog at the end of my videos because when I can't film, I'm always updating there. So if you want, go ahead and check that out. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And music is by Riley and the Roxies and Broke for Free.